Okay, so we have this guy, right? Kyrie thought it was really just pure evil. Uh, which, you know, nobody wants, in a, in a series of this magnitude, nobody wants pure villainy. We want complicated characters. I'm starting to think that, like, pure villainy a little bit better. This is for heaven, um... Okay, um, what it is, what's up, what was that episode about in the cut? Um, so, there's a lot of different things I want to cover this week with, with some of these videos, but, um, first off, I think the most pressing thing is... Are the worst people in the entire fucking history of the realm that we know of, the fucking Targaryens? I think they might be. <laughs> I, I, I think they might be, I think. So the Baratheon lead that succeeded um, the Mad King um, was fairly peaceful until essentially... The Lannisters made a play with their own. And in comes Joffrey Baratheon. That wasn't great for the realm, obviously. But in somewhere Alright. And somewhere in that, um we realized that the Lannisters outside of Joffrey are fairly rational people. Cersei is a little bit of a winch. Uh, but for the most part, everything they do is calculated and semi-rational, semi. Obviously, the love between Jamie and Cersei, uh, throw a wrench into that, but semi-calculated. And then we go to the Targaryen brain, which lasted an episode, um, and she wanted to pretty much burn on the entirety of pretty much every house remaining, uh, old house remaining in Lester Rose. Maybe not completely rational. <laughs> Daenerys Targaryen, one who, in very poor storytelling, uh, showed increments of the madness that seems to compel the Targaryens. We are now seven episodes into House of Dragon, and we're starting to see some of that same psychopathy and increments in the target area. So this is some really good storytelling in the second place. So we see Aegon, who just drunk his ass into a stupor for most of the episode, or at least half of it, um, with no conceivable rationale for why than he could. Uh, he also masturbated in the top of the Red Keep, again, for no reason why. Aegon is uh, fucking crazy. Um, we have Aemon, whose sole motivator to this point has been the fucking dragon. Uh, the, the pig being almost a complete motivator for him to do whatever it takes to get said dragon. Uh, he notices a dragon, which was the dragon of Lena Valerian, who's now no longer here. He tames that dragon, and he decides to showboat about it to Lena's now motherless kids. And... His cousins, who he resents for giving him a pig. Okay. So he gets his eye fucking cut out because he basically beat the shit out of all four of them fairly easily. Um, and they had to equal the odds, of course. Okay. So, we now, we then have the other two Targaryen kids who are half strong. So... Only one half Valerian. And they seem to be the most logical thinking people to this point uh, that have the last name Targaryen. Um, or are partial. I don't give a fuck. Um, they get forced into action. Uh, but they seem compassionate, well thinking individuals that generally handle things well. And the other Targaryen kids that are black. They might be the most likable of all the Targaryen kids. 
but they also are like no they're actually the only two kids that are complete valerian they're completely valerian uh Rhaenyra spawn are half targaryen half strong and then Alice and Hightower's kids are half whatever the fuck Hightower is and then half Tar Targaryen. So theoretically, these kids are the most Valerian out of all the Valerians. And they are probably the nicest, most respectable fucking kids out of all of them. Go figure. Um, so then we go from there to the generation above these kids. The, uh, as I would say, the shitty Targaryens. Uh, <laughs> so we have Rhaenyra Targaryen who... Essentially, I don't think she's been pushed to be awful to this point in the series. She is spiteful. She doesn't know how to follow the fucking rules. And that has led to some very bad things. I'm not absolving her blame. She deserves blame. A lot of it, probably. Um, but she hasn't done anything that's yet that's overtly awful. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, the things she's done that's implicitly awful have led to what's going to be some very bad action that take place. Renera thinks she's above the fucking world, which many other Targaryens, once they get into a position of power, seem to also believe. Um, her actions have led to some awful things occurring, again, indirectly, and now she's trying to do awful things directly. Uh, she just burned her cousin's... Burned... Uh, should I spoil that? That's an episode 7 spoiler. Let's just say this. She did some... Her and... That's episode 7 spoiler. Alright, we're doing episode 7 spoilers. I'm sorry. I, I, she burned one of the two... Uh, Rhaenyra's kids... Burned them alive in their father's keep. In, in, in his father's keep. The other the two got killed by her dragon because she was siring or whatever, I guess, having Daemon Targaryen's kid. So basically, this now betrothed couple, Daemon Targaryen and Rhaenyra Targaryen, have killed both of the Valerian kids. That's not gonna play over well. Um, not not at all. So now the four kids have the best claim to the Iron Throne, to Driftmark, to Dragonstone, I believe, and are the kids of the most powerful couple in Westeros outside of Alicent Hightower and Viserys Targaryen. That's not good. That's not good. Damon Targaryen killed Lady Rhea and directly has claim to the veil. Um, and between him and Rhaenyra conniving, they have basically liberated uh, Lanor and his fuck buddy out of there. Just got him out. Okay. Yeah. So. Because Renera got the touch of a male 15 years ago, 10, 15 years ago, from her uncle, who didn't even seem comfortable having relations with her 10, 15 years ago. As he put it, it's because she was a child. She just threw everything away and said, like, fuck it, okay, I want to fuck my uncle that bad. So she fucked her uncle on the beach, and it's like, no, I can't go back to fucking... These random fucking dudes. I gotta fuck my uncle. So, that's where we're at now. She had to fuck her uncle. Now her uncle and her are married. Viserys Targaryen, his brother, is now wed to his daughter. After, essentially, two of his kids, or at least one of his two kids, assaulted... To his two grandkids who directly have a line to the throne. 
all the while, Viserys is getting on and dying actively like every episode. That motherfucker should have died five fucking years ago. I don't know, but while dying, essentially, his queen attempted to fucking cut out his grandkid's eye, and they end up cutting his daughter's like forearm. He had to remake. The old hand of the king, the hand of the king again, because the then hand of the king got killed because he almost, uh, well, let's just put this from Viserys Argyrian's perspective. Essentially, his son might have fucked his, his hand of the king's son might have fucked his daughter. And that truth is something he just tried to avoid for years and years and years and years. Okay. So, one house is now without any heirs. And then another house is gone. <laughs> Two very powerful houses, at least at the time. Because the Targaryens had to fuck. <laughs> if you can get where I'm going with this, the Targaryens may be the most AIDS AIDS. A virus of no other. The Targ virus. Targvid fucking 15 B D before Daenerys um and because they had to fuck many people are going to die just because Daenerys had to have relations with all these knights Allison couldn't keep a fucking eye to herself and just mind her own goddamn business. Otto had to slip in and make the High Tower name as big as it gets. Corliss had to play the game of the throne. Rain had to fuck Corliss. All these things had to happen. But, 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 but. the common thing is that it was all done. To entertain this power struggle that seems to inherently exist with the fucking Targaryens. It happened after, partly because of what's happening now, and it happened before, from what I understand. It happened one more time before Targaryen line was eliminated. A power struggle happened. Daenerys won. A Targaryen killed a Targaryen. And there was no Targaryens except one motherfucker who may not ever have kids. As far as we know. The Targaryens are AIDS. The Lannisters, pretty fucking awful, but short reign, kind of calculated, kind of rational. The Targaryens, all of this Dance of the Dragon shit is because they couldn't, A, keep the fucking dick in their pants, B, try to have relations with the people they want to have relations to, C, not fuck up each other, D, got fucked up by Olivia Cook, and then E, Probably should have had better King of Viserys. Viserys, Viserys uh, the song is being written and it's not looking good. And it's not going to be looking good after, like, after this motherfucker's out of there. And Daemon Targaryen. Daemon Targaryen is the sole source of so much awful shit. I can't think of a single person who is worse in this entire universe that's been created to this point. And Daemon fucking Targaryen. <laughs> that motherfucker is AIDS. Man, I'm not going to lie to you. Damon is a terrible motherfucking person. But I love seeing a motherfucker on the screen. Every time I see that motherfucker snarking, uh, sniveling, outright smiling, frowning, that motherfucker's emotion sets the damn tone. And because of that, I hope, here's where I'm putting my allegiance to. I hope he lives. He's not. But I hope he lives. I hope he lives without killing any Targaryens that I currently know of that is not Viserys. Uh, that is not Aegon. I don't care about Aegon. Aegon, don't care about him. Aemon is a flawed character, but his rationalizations, Aemon's rationalizations for being a piece of shit. Because both Aegon and Aemon are horrible people. Because Alicent's a horrible person that refuses to admit 
the, I, I talked about this in the uh, in the Allison breakdown. I think that I uploaded a couple of days ago. Allison's rationale, her her self um, self superiority almost is mind boggling until you realize it was instilled in her. Allison, I think, is probably out of all the like relatively bad characters in this. I feel like she's the one I feel the worst for because she was the purest and she just got tainted more and more by the game. I feel bad for her. Renair, I don't feel bad about. Uh, the kids, I mean, I'm, I feel bad for them because they seem to be pretty good on, on nature before they start getting tainted by their uh, predecessors. Damon, I don't feel bad about. Viserys, I don't feel bad about. But Allison, I kind of feel bad about because the Targaryen is fucked up. He was a decent kid for Targaryen came along. And that's the rationale of the story. Everybody's fucking good until they come around the fucking Targaryens. Specifically, Damon. 